earth, earth, earth. Hear the word of the Lord. You must know how to use the word. And it is not technical. It is spiritual. It's a spiritual operation of the Holy Spirit. Part of the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life as a believer is when you take the word, it comes to bring interpretation. It comes to help you in application. Applied word. You know applied physics, applied chemistry. There's applied word. And that's the ministry of the Holy Spirit to teach you this how to apply this. So if you have cancer in your body or there is something that is eating up something because you may not have your enemy. Say, when my enemy, did look at that verse 2 again. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came, up, came upon me to do what? To eat up my flesh. Anything that wants to eat up your flesh. Literally, you should speak to it to stumble and fall. That is the word of the Lord. But if you don't speak, it will continue to eat your flesh. And your flesh could mean your husband it could mean your wife you know it's your flesh is your bone flesh of my flesh bone of my bone something is getting on your husband is getting on your wife your seed is your flesh it's part of you your son your daughter you understand what i'm saying anything that is part of you coming up to it say they stumble and they fall but what will suddenly cause them to stumble and fall because there is somebody releasing some fire spitting fire spitting some arrows shooting some arrows releasing the word of God against, against them when, when, when you are loaded with the word prayer is exciting you know when the Holy Ghost brings some of this fresh thing I'm ready to, you know you can pray five hours you just begin to it is when prayer becomes monotonous that you think it's a body and they wake you up let's pray you sleep you are not in touch with the Holy Ghost his masses are new every morning there is a freshness of the power of God that the Holy Ghost bath forth into our lives every morning. Amen. Are you still there? Number verse 3. Now let's go. Let's continue. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Are you the God of the ark that we worship this way? Is it building some confidence on the inside of you? That ark is no more somewhere that the Levites are carrying on their shoulder. That ark is where? It's right on the inside. You carry it everywhere. And if he defended and said in the days of Dagon, what will he do with them now? In the power, much more. Can I hear you say much more? Because Old Testament is all glory. Shadows. We are in the reality of it. And I think the way I see the hand of the Lord doing valiantly this GOBC, God does not mean well for your enemies at all. I love one man of God. He said, one thing I love about David is that he never wishes his enemy well. God doesn't have any good plan at all for your enemies. I'm sorry for anyone that is opposing me. I'm sorry for the enemy of my life. Because in these eight days, I see the hand of the Lord doing valiantly against every enemy of the dream city against enemy of your life against every enemy of your marriage against every enemy of your finances against every enemy of your health though an host should encamp against me things are bombarding you left right and center don't say oh god why why me it was yesterday that my son was sick today again my boss gave me a query yes that's the champion stuff. Enemy compassed. They, they, they surrounded him. And what did he say? He said, my heart shall not fear. Why? I know the God of the ark. Don't wash your eyes against me. In this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord. That will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. To inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle shall he hide me. And do what? He shall set me upon a rock where you are unreachable, untouchable, uncursable for the enemy. Hallelujah. And now shall my head be lifted above. Oh, I pity my enemy. Do you pity your enemy this morning? I'll come your way tomorrow again. And don't forget, read your
your Bible to know God more.